Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So most global equity markets have resumed their slide over the weekend following some really weak data from China on uh, on Friday there where we had really bad PMI. Chinese stock market has tanked. Uh, more US earnings have come out a bit more uh, on the kind of more disappointing side. And uh, the US dollar has um, has been quite volatile as well. So US 30 down at 17.561. Most other European markets also down quite excessively as well. So we've got a negative cross there on the MACD. Uh, the other technicals show that there is further room for more downside. We're trading down both below most moving averages. Um, now today's session, the US has started off um, relatively static, and we just, as I said, we're just slightly above this potential support. But the next potential support, if we break below that, would be 17,361, and that was the tip of the candle here that we've had back in September last year. Moving then on to the UK 100, you can just see that horrible finish that we had there on Friday, uh, and I should also point out we also do have the FOMC um, meetings starting on Tuesday, finishing up on Wednesday with a statement which could give more insight as to uh, US rates. Um, negative cross on the MACD, uh, negative sell on the slow stochastic. We're trading below potential support at 65.89, which opens up uh, the next support is quite a good bit away at 64.15. So moving on to the Japan 225, um, kind of a doji formation starting pretty much bang on this moving average crossover. Um, dollar yen, actually the dollar's reversed course a little bit from Friday. Um, we're down at 123 for dollar yen. So um, we have seen the strengthening of the yen. People have been buying yen as a safe haven uh, over gold. Gold's not been getting a huge amount of love the last couple of weeks, albeit it is up a slightly little bit higher today. So for Japan 225, we're in between two ranges. Um, but we are bouncing around these moving averages right now, which look to be at, at adding short-term support. But the next potential support would be 20,087. So then having a quick look there at dollar yen, uh, dollar yen is drifting down. We're actually at the bottom of the range as we speak, coming up close to those moving averages with a uh, negative crossover on the MACD and the same, same with the slow stochastic. Uh, 124.42 resistance looks like it's remaining intact for now. And as I mentioned, uh, yen could be quite popular should things get a bit more dicey in the equity markets. So then moving on to West Texas crude, uh, grinding lower. It's just eking out a tiny little gain this morning if only just. Um, but the, the trend is still firmly down. Next potential support is 43.30. Albeit I keep saying this each time, but I need to get this support level, this potential support level in here. Tip of this candle, round about 45.85. That could be the next potential support level to watch out for. But all the fundamentals, there's a lot of stuff stacked against West Texas crude. If you take the US dollar, global demand, and the Iranian nuclear deal. So gold, volatile, all over the place. So it, it was all the way down at the bottom here by Friday, ended up here, it's pushed on higher a little bit today. So people are buying a little bit of gold, not just the Japanese yen. But um, historically, the last couple of weeks, we have been seeing that the yen's been more popular as that safe haven. Um, over gold, but maybe gold's just been so low when it's at like <clears throat> multi-year lows all the way down here um, that it makes it a little bit more attractive for people to buy it and hold it in the short term to protect against uncertainty in the market. So certainly things look a little bit more bullish on the intraday charts. Gold is currently trading at its top of its range. Uh, we've almost got a, a buy signal on the RSI. On the RSI, the slow stochastic, believe it or not, never actually got as low as being in the oversold territory, and we've not yet got. A uh, uh, bullish crossover in the MACD. If we do see an acceleration of gold uh, prices, expect 1137 to remain a pretty staunch potential resistance level. So moving on to euro dollar, euro dollar's had a decent bounce um, as at the expense of the US dollar, which is um, be a little bit of profit taking. I, th I think with the dollar index being still pretty close to kind of multi year highs itself, uh, we have seen a little bit of uh, bit, bit of profit taking on the US dollar. On Friday, uh, and as you can see, that euro dollar has been slowly grinding that little bit higher. It looks to be one spot 11 will be the uh, potential resistance. Uh, you are coinciding that quite close just now with the 21 period SMA, and you've got all these um, technicals still relatively neutral with a bullish crossover on the MACD. So, then finishing up with GBP USD, um, negative uh, bearish cross uh, or death cross in the moving averages. Uh, other technicals are neutral. Uh, doji formation on Friday, kind of the opposite today looks to be that the moving averages might be adding potential resistance, stopping the price from getting up that little bit higher. We're not seeing the same movements in sterling as we have seen in the euro, but one spot 56 will be potential 
resistance. So economic data wise, you've got uh, German IFO business expectations index at 9 a.m. UK time. You've got durable goods in the US. That should be quite a good one for people looking for more inflationary data and um, interest rate ammunition. And then you've got uh, UK GDP and uh, CCI in the US on Tuesday. And I said on Tuesday and Wednesday, you do have the FOMC uh, sessions in play. And you can make sure you've got your that this is unlikely to change but you never you never know people are still thinking it's going to be september um but keep your eye on a lot of these economic data releases on wednesday that promises to be a big one we might see um less volatility because obviously it's the school holiday period just now as well and people might be waiting for that fomc statement to uh, get released before taking on new positions so as ever guys keep your eye on the chart forum make insights part of your leg going forward and join us again tomorrow to find out what happened next